I want to share with you a five star pivot table tip. We're going to talk about organizing fields using custom sort lists. Now, the reason this is an expert level tip has nothing to do with the level of difficulty. In fact, it's quite easy to implement and everything to do with the fact that 99% of Excel users out there simply have no idea that this option even exists. So by default, Excel has a number of built in sort lists to help organize fields that can't be sorted with traditional rules. So things like weekdays and month names, which don't follow any sort of alphabetical or reverse alphabetical logic, you just have to know that Monday comes before Tuesday, March comes before April, and so on and so forth. And that's exactly what custom sort lists are designed to do. And in this demo, we're going to use a very similar process to sort Olympic medals. Because just like weekdays, there's a very particular order here that doesn't necessarily follow any standard rules. So what we're going to do is head to File, Options, Advance, and then drill all the way down to the General section and click this Edit Custom List button where it says Create Lists for Use in Sorts and Fill Sequences. And what we're going to do is create a new list and tell Excel, hey, these are Olympic medals. They're meaningful. I always want gold to be first, followed by silver, then bronze, then NA. And once you've saved that list and you return to your data or your pivot table, now that custom sort will take precedent over the standard alphabetical sorting rules. And you can use that same old A to Z option to now sort in the order that you've defined. So really helpful tool, especially if you have a lot of items and you can't click and manually drag them into the order that you need. So common use cases, any fields that can't be sorted with traditional means like apparel sizes, small, medium, then large, or like we see here, Olympic medals, gold, silver, bronze, can also be really helpful for creating custom fiscal calendars to override standard month sorting. So for instance, if your fiscal year starts in May, you could create a custom list to define the month order for your specific fiscal year. So let's jump into Excel and practice actually creating and applying one of these custom sort lists. All right, now if you'd like to follow along with me, go ahead and open up your pro tip workbook, head to your table of contents, and look for the custom sort lists five star demo in the gray pivot table tip section. And when you link out to that sheet, what you should see is data from the 2016 Summer Olympics. And we're looking at the medal count, the count of medals awarded based on the medal type, gold, silver, bronze, or NA, and also based on the sport. Now, the challenge here is that this medal field in column B, if we try to sort it alphabetically, A to Z, we end up with bronze on top and silver on the bottom, which doesn't make much sense. Same story if we reverse it to Z to A, now we just get silver on top followed by NA and then gold and bronze. So we have two options in cases like this. Um, option one is to select the fields, hover over the edge until you get the four pointed arrow and click and drag them into a different order. And that's fine for cases like this, only four items in the field, um, definitely feasible. The other option, which is a bit more scalable, is to create a custom sort list. So let me show you how exactly that would work. We're going to go into our file tab, drill into our options, head to advanced, and then scroll almost all the way to the bottom until you get to this general section. And the last item in the general section says create lists for use in sorts and fill sequences, edit custom lists. That's what you want to check. And you'll get to this dialog box here. You can see those weekday and month name custom lists that I mentioned earlier already baked in here into Excel. And all we're going to do is add a new list. And we're going to type in the order of those metals, separating each line using the enter key. So gold, silver, enter bronze, enter NA. And let's go ahead and click add. And it's added that list right here in our custom list window. Press OK and OK again. Now, when we return to our pivot, you'll notice that it didn't sort automatically. So you may need to go back into that column and now press A to Z and see how it sorts it. Now it's gold, silver, bronze, NA. 
because that custom list that we just created takes precedent and we essentially overrule the order that would have been generated using traditional alphabetical sorting, in which case bronze would have shown up at the top. So there you have it. This was a pretty simple example, but a great tip to keep in your back pocket anytime you have a list that follows a non-traditional sort order.